Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Snap. In today's video, we will be looking at the members of the first Rambo film, First Blood, that was released in 1982, then and where they are now. Let's get started. Number 1. Sylvester Stallone Sylvester and Zio Stallone became a part of the Rambo franchise in 1982 when he was 36 years old. He portrayed the role of the soldier that was plagued by PTSD, John Rambo. This was a defining point in his acting career, and he ended up playing the same role in five Rambo films between 1982 and 2019. Currently, he is 75 years old and still actively pursuing his acting career. Number 2. Richard Crenna Richard Donald Crenna joined the Rambo franchise in 1982 when he was 56 years old. He acted as Colonel Sam Trotman, who was John Rambo's ex-commanding officer for about three Rambo films, and this became his most famous role throughout his acting career. Unfortunately, he developed pancreatic cancer in his later years and died of heart failure in 2003 when he was 76. Number 3. Brian Dennehy Brian Dennehy made his first appearance within the Rambo franchise when he was 44 years old. He portrayed the role of the enthusiastic sheriff, Will Teasel, in the film, and that was his breakthrough role in his acting career. Sadly, he died after cardiac arrest due to sepsis in 2010 when he was 82 years old. Number 4. Bill McKenney. William Dennison McKenney became a part of the Rambo franchise when he was 51 years old. He acted as Dave Kern, the captain of the Washington State Police film. Unfortunately, he passed on in 2011 when he was 80 years old. His cause of death is attributed to esophageal cancer. Number 5. Jack Starrett. Jack Starrett Jr. joined the Rambo franchise when he was 46 years old. At the time, he was acting as Art Galt the brutal deputy in the film, and aside from being an actor, he was also a film director. Sadly, he died from kidney failure in 1989 when he was 52 years old. Number 6. Michael Talbot Michael Talbot became a part of the Rambo franchise when he was only 27 years old. At the time, he portrayed the role of Balford, the reluctant deputy in the film, and a real estate agent in Manhunter. Thereafter, he continued acting until 2001 when he took a break from acting. Currently, he is 66 years old, but the last time he appeared in a film was in 2014. Number 7. Chris Mulkey Chris Mulkey joined the Rambo franchise in 1982 when he was 34 years old. He acted as the deputy ward in the film, and that was one of his most renowned roles in the industry. Currently, he is 73 years old and is still pursuing his acting career with his most recent appearance in How to Deter a Robber film in 2020. Number 8. John McLean. John McLean made his first appearance in the Rambo franchise when he was 64 years old. He acted as Orville in the film and is greatly remembered for his unique ability to mimic different accents. Unfortunately, he lost his life to melanoma and Parkinson's disease in 1994 when he was 76 years old. Number 9. Alf Humphreys. Alf Humphreys joined the Rambo franchise when he was only 29 years old and was among the youngest actors in the film at the time. He portrayed the role of Lester in the film and appeared in several other films at the time. Sadly, he died of brain cancer in 2018 when he was 64 years old. Number 10. David Caruso David Caruso became a part of the Rambo franchise when he was only 26 years old and was also one of the youngest actors in the film back then. He acted as Mitch in the film, which was more or less a supporting role. Currently, he is 66 years old, but he retired from acting in 2012. Number 11. David Crowley. David L. Crowley joined the Rambo franchise when he was 37 years old and he is best known for his supporting role as Shingleton in the film. Currently he is 76 years old and is greatly renowned as an actor who has had a very successful Hollywood career throughout his lifetime. Number 12. Don McKay. Don McKay joined the Rambo franchise in 1982 when he was 57 years old and starred as Preston in the film. Aside from being an actor he was also a dancer and singer. Unfortunately, he died in 2018 when he was 93 years old. His death is attributed to natural causes. Thanks for watching.